guys, it's Ariane de la Gringa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I will be teaching you guys Halloween vocab, where I will be going to different stores and showing you different types of Halloween decoration like the ones behind me and teaching you guys Halloween traditions. Let's go to the first store. Now that you guys know how people decorate their homes for Halloween, let's go ahead and walk inside this store right here called Target, where you can find a couple of Halloween decorations inside. Come along with me. Now that we're inside the store, what is Target? Target is a retail store that sells things like clothes, household items, and seasonal items. Right behind me is the Halloween section. Let's go ahead and check out some Halloween decorations. What are some Halloween traditions? Well, one of the most important traditions is dressing up in a costume. I am standing in the middle of an aisle and there are tons of different costumes around me. When you are dressing up in a costume, you are dressing up to be someone else, like a movie character or someone from a cartoon. For example, I can dress up as Harry Potter or I can be Spider-Man. But as you can see, this is not my size because this aisle only has costumes for kids. Target also has Halloween costumes for pets. This is Woody from Toy Story. This is so cute. You can put it on your dog and dress him up or you can be Yoda from Star Wars. How cute. If you don't want to be a superhero or your favorite movie character, you can try on a funny costume. Like this one, I am a taco. I'm going to talk about Halloween costumes a little bit later in this video because I will be visiting a Halloween store. But why do kids or teenagers dress up in a costume for Halloween? Well, kids dress up for Halloween because they go trick-or-treating. And what is trick-or-treating? Trick-or-treating is where you knock on your neighbor's door or someone's door and you say trick-or-treat and they will hand out candy for you. Right behind me, there is so much candy that people will buy in this store and and they will hand it out for trick-or-treaters. As you guys can see, this store has a lot of candy. Well, this type of candy is special because this candy has different shapes for Halloween, like these Reese's. It's in the shape of a pumpkin. Can you guys see the difference between this bag of chocolate? It's in the shape of a pumpkin versus this bag of chocolate. It's in the regular Reese's peanut butter cup shape. Now let's see if there are some other types of candies that have Halloween symbols on them. For example, this bag has a skeleton on the bag, a skeleton. And these Snickers are green inside. How cool. This Hershey's cookies and cream bag has a vampire. And you can see that the vampire has fangs, which is basically just the chocolate. And this Kit Kat bag has a witch on it. Look at this green witch. Now that you all know that kids dress up in a Halloween costume, go trick or treating, and they get candy, well, how will they carry their candy? Will they carry it with their hands, with their clothes? Well, you can actually carry candy with a bucket. This is a bucket with a pumpkin on it, or you carry candy with a pail. This is a pail and it has a cat on it. Some Halloween decorations that you can buy and use outside your home are lights. These lights are actually 30% off because the month of October is about to end, so you can get deals. These are steak lights with skeleton heads. These are also steak lights with ghosts. This is a huge LED spider. Now, if you don't want to buy Halloween lights, you can also buy a skeleton that you may hang from your front porch. Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> I didn't know he made a noise. <laughs> Target also has Starbucks. By the way, if you guys haven't checked out my YouTube video, go ahead and check it out. I teach English at Starbucks. Also, right now, since it's October, Starbucks has a pumpkin flavor. It's called Pumpkin Forever. I'm not going to try it today, but come along with me and let's go see our next store. Right now, I'm at Kroger and let's see what the second store has for Halloween. The first thing that I see outside Kroger for Halloween are pumpkins. Look at all of these orange pumpkins behind me and they come in different sizes. This pumpkin is bigger than this one. And what do you do with pumpkins? So you can eat pumpkins, you can eat the inside, but the most important tradition for Halloween is we carve pumpkins. And a carved pumpkin is called a jack-o'-lantern. This pumpkin is carved and we found this pumpkin in Target. Each pumpkin costs $5 or you can buy two for $10. Right now I'm inside Kroger and Kroger is a grocery store. As I said before, you guys can actually eat pumpkin. This is pumpkin pie, but inside Kroger they actually have Halloween decorated cupcakes. They have a cake specifically decorated for Halloween. Most of them are orange. Kroger has a seasonal section just for Halloween. Look at the beautiful display they have behind me. They mostly sell candy, but let's go ahead and take a look to see what type of Halloween decoration they have inside the store. Some of the Halloween decorations that caught my mind are candles. They have pumpkin nutmeg pie. Let me smell it. Mmm, it smells like pumpkin pie. And they have candles that have skeletons on it, spider webs, and they also have a candle that has the face of a black cat because a black cat is a symbol for Halloween. Now, if you guys don't want to buy a bag of candy that only has one type of candy, you can also buy assorted bags of candy that has different brands. This huge bag of candy has 225 pieces of different brands like M&Ms, Snickers, Starburst, and the Three Musketeers. The price of one bag of assorted candy is $19.99. Another type of assorted candy is this bag right here. It's a little bit smaller compared to the other bag and it's cheaper at $11.99. This assorted bag of candy comes in pieces, so each piece is a different type of candy. They also have 105 pieces in this big bag and it's $15.99. And the largest bag of assorted candy is this one right here. It has 330 pieces and it's $29.99. Besides having a lot of candy inside the store, there aren't a lot of Halloween decorations. So come along with me and let's go ahead and head to the third store. The third store is Home Depot. I'm at Home Depot. And let's see if Home Depot has Halloween decoration because they're not normally known for it. So let's go. Before continuing with the video, I want to talk about something that may be scarier than Halloween, and that is making mistakes while speaking English in front of people. I understand it can be very scary, and that is why I want to tell you about today's sponsor, Preply. I've been studying Spanish with Preply and I feel confident speaking it because I'm no longer worried about making mistakes. You don't have to be scared either. With Preply, you can learn over 50 languages and have access to over 32,000 expert tutors to help you become fluent and not be scared of speaking a new language. Additionally, you can choose a native teacher from any part of the world. For example, I can take a live one-on-one -on -one class with a native Spanish teacher from Chile, Colombia, or Mexico and choose a teacher that fits my budget. If you want to learn English or a new language and not be scared to make mistakes when you speak, go ahead and use my code ARIANITA50 for a 50% discount on your first trial. You can access Preply on the web or through Preply's mobile app. Thanks to Preply for sponsoring this portion of this video. Let's get back to learning more about Halloween vocab. The first thing that I found at Home Depot are pumpkins. They have pumpkins right outside their store and these pumpkins are different because there are different colors, sizes, and textures. This pumpkin is huge. It's called a jumbo pumpkin. It's so heavy. And this jumbo pumpkin, it was $19.98, but now it's $14.88. You can also purchase metal stakes that you can put in your grass. 
Right now, I'm inside Home Depot, and I was here last week, and they had a lot more options of Halloween decoration. They also have different Halloween decorations you can put outside your house, like this huge skull. This skull has LED. It actually lights up, and it's $99. Over here, you can also buy spider webs. I'm pretty sure it's made out of cotton, and this is what the spider web would look like. You can put spider webs on your bushes, on your trees, and this costs $5. They also have some more Halloween decorations for your yard, for your lawn. This is just an animated skeleton dog. That's pretty scary. I'm going to click pressing that. Right above me is an inflatable. It's Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Ursula costs $149. And the most expensive thing that they have inside Home Depot is this eight foot skeleton at $249. The reason why Home Depot doesn't have any more Halloween decorations out is because it's almost the end of October and they're already getting ready for Christmas. Look at all the beautiful Christmas decoration behind me. But I think you could be for Halloween and Christmas. What do you think, Jack Frost? Ah! <laughs> I'm outside Home Depot and I'm getting ready to go visit the fourth Halloween store. Okay guys, I've made it to Spirit Halloween. It's a Halloween store and it's only open during September and October just for the month of Halloween. Let's go ahead and walk inside and see what type of costumes they have and what type of Halloween decoration they have. Come along with me. I just walked inside the store and the first thing you see is this beautiful display and they have so many different types of costumes all around me. Let's first start at the hats and masks right here. First, I'm going to show you the hats and masks as well as the costumes and then you guys will decide what you want to be for Halloween. Over here, they just have some simple masks like this white face mask that you can buy and this is $3.99. <laughs> and right over here, they have some more masks, but you can be an animal. So you can be a wolf, a bull, or you can be a pig. And this pig costs $59.99. But this pig is a bit creepy, so I'm going to put it away. These are the funny masks. So you can be an old grandma, an old man. I'm an old lady. <laughs> and then these masks right behind me are one of the creepiest masks they have in the store because they're based on scary movies like The Purge, Frankenstein, and Saw. Over here, they have weapons that you can add to your costume, like a sword, a bat. They also have more fake weapons over here. This is a knife. And of course, everything is fake inside the store. These costumes are just for adults. But if you saw these scary masks before, don't be afraid because these costumes over here are fun costumes. You can dress up as an inflatable cow, an inflatable banana, or if you don't like going to parties, you can be a party pooper. <laughs> you can also be a hot dog, a pickle, and this pickle costume costs $29.99. These are individual costumes, but if you have a partner or a friend that you want to dress up with, you can buy this right here. This is peanut butter and jelly. Let me know down below who's your peanut butter or who's your jelly. <laughs> You can also dress up as a panda, as a monkey, as a deer, or as a shark. And this shark costume costs $39.99. I'm in the religious section, so you can dress up as Jesus, and it comes with a beard and a wig. And you can also dress up as a priest, sinful sister, or a nun. And it also comes with the Holy Bible, which is fake. You can also be a hippie for Halloween. Peace and love. When you dress up for Halloween, you dress up in a costume and you can dress up as your favorite movie character, or you can dress up as Shrek. But remember, Shrek is an ogre and he's green. So right beside this Shrek costume is a Shrek cosmetic kit. So you can paint yourself green and look like your favorite character. And they also have a Barbie costume. Because the movie is very popular right now, I might be seeing a lot of people at a Halloween party dressed up as Barbie. And this costume costs $49.99. Right behind me, they even have Scooby-Doo. Look at how cool this mystery machine pillow is. Also, do you guys think I look like Velma or Daphne? Also, another symbol of Halloween is a witch. Right behind me, they have different types of witch costumes and it is a famous symbol, so you might see a witch at your Halloween party. If you dress up as a witch for Halloween, don't forget about your accessories. This is a big black hat and also a witch always has her broom. Whee! <laughs> 
if you guys want to accessorize your look, your Halloween costume, and look just like your character, you can buy accessories like a wig. Come along with me and let's go check some out. If my Halloween character had black hair, I have blonde hair, I would need a wig, a black wig, that I would put on my head. You can also get different colored wigs like blue, a red wig, purple wig, a gray wig, and so many more options. You can also buy special effects and put them on your body, on your face. For example, if you want to look a little bit scary for Halloween night, you can buy this special effect makeup and look like you have scratches all over your face. Also, don't forget about makeup, especially Halloween makeup. This is specifically made for Halloween because you will be using this paint on your skin, on your body, on your face, and you can create special effects. Look at this, you can be a skeleton, you can be the devil. They also have blood spray that you can spray on your body or on your shirt to make it look like you're bleeding. And before leaving the store, let's go ahead and check out their Halloween decor. These Halloween decorations will hang from your ceiling or from your front porch and you can press it and they make noise. Let's see this clown. I'm kind of scared. He's called the kicking clown for a reason because he's kicking his feet and his legs. And this is the devil. And as you can see, when I press this button, his eyes light up. This is the screaming nurse. She's kind of scary. And over here, they have some more outdoor decorations that you can put in your front or backyard. And these are inflatables that move around during the night. And this right here is a fog machine that is great for parties. It'll set the mood to be a spooky and creepy mood for Halloween. And right next to it is fog juice and you'll fill it in the machine and it'll create fog. Okay guys, we're at the end of the video, but can you guys first guess what I'm dressed up as? What am I? What kind of costume am I? I am a pinata, and right now I'm ready to go trick-or-treating to get a lot of candy. I hope you guys enjoyed this Halloween video, and go ahead and let me know down below what type of costume you are going to dress up as for this Halloween. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!